Hello, hello everybody. Here is Dark Rivoon back again to to do my fourth video of uh, Mass Effect um, 3 playthrough. So more or less, um, yeah. Okay, let's move a little bit because they're speaking. Or actually, they're continuing their conversation. Well, anyway, I just finished. So. Um, we need to speak to Dina, this is the only thing that we can do at the in the city at the moment um, because most of the other places where we can, for example, shop, buy stuff are not um, not yet open for us so we need just to go, you know, um, the linear mode at the beginning at least and then after that it will open up a little bit more RPG elements like, um, you know, selecting your crew, uh, changing weapons, modifying stuff so yeah, let's move. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Well, this is um, well, not a big place, but there, there is stuff to do. You know, to to speak with the Venus, also to. Um, you know, obtain some side quest missions, um, and yeah, I'll start doing them one by one. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Where's the Spectre Requisitions Office? The Spectre Requisitions District Office is down the hallway to your left. Note that requisition forms are available only to agents whose biometrics are verified and on file. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. So here is the thing. Later, if we go to the um, Spectre office, um, we can choose either we uh, either if you want, for example, to uh, you know receive back the the Spectre status, which will give us some um, um, some discounts and some um, you know new weapons that we can purchase because you know being a Spectre. Um, so. But yeah, some some people choose not to to do uh, to do it, you know, to to be reinstated as a specter. I'm every time, you know, selecting because come on, Commander Shepard is the first human specter, so should remain uh, active. Volus, good traders. I don't trust them, Dotto. Though. Please tell the Primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. Well, here is the thing I just received, if you saw on the bottom right. Um, like a side quest, you know, it's optional, of course. You just, you know, um, scout it, you know, with a probe. Later, I'll show you how. Um, I mean, the, the rewards are more or less just, you know, adding to, to your fleet because you need to have a certain amount of fleet. I'll show you uh, the fleet power, which can be, you know, increased um, acquiring more uh, more fleets, uh, doing the side quests, doing the main missions, especially with the catalyst that uh, we are searching now, but also via the multiplayer of the game, which is of course optional, but I always play because it's um, 
together with Dota 2, it's uh, my my favorite, you know, multiplayer uh, game experience. So I love it. But you see, step by step, how how you acquire fleets. Um, the side quests in in this game, it's um, you know, they're not so good, for example, or um, you know, diverse. Uh, compared with uh, the ones in Mass Effect 1 and 2. In Mass Effect 1, most of the stuff it was like, uh, you know, um, uh, rehashed, you know, uh, they, they were like uh, repeating itself uh, side missions. Um, it was not so diverse. In Mass Effect 2, it was, you know, a different experience. Almost, if not every side mission was uh, unique and uh, interesting. And here in this game, it's well playing for the main story, uh, mainly. Well, let's move. I can see here the citadel, it's, it's really beautiful. He's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quarters. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Thank you. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter. Right, so this is uh, Commander Bailey with which we can speak. Um, here on the left is the Spectre Room. Uh, here is Donna Odina, the Earth Counselor, um, with which we, we have to speak. And yep, um, that's about it. Down below there are more people. Um, well, walking. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to the Spectre Room then speak with um, with Captain Bailey and then after that to Dina. Now see here you have like, uh, you know, these amazing and unique weapons depending on, you know, uh, your playstyle. Of course, I'm playing with Soldier and I really love this uh, Black Widow. It's um, it's really very powerful sniper with uh, three shots uh, per clip, so it's really unique. I'm not very fond of using the, um, the shotguns, although this one is very good, the right. Um, and well, as the Paladin, Paladin is like an improvement of the Carnifex uh, pistol, it's really nice.
and of course here uh, inside you can train I'm not going to train I have <laughs> enough uh, missions and targets to you know practice on them There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. I don't give a fuck about this report. Yeah, I mean, she's Chris. so annoying. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, um, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Commander. Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. 
and it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way, but the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future, the fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <sighs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. This I'm a badass painter again. Um, I don't remember if, uh, for example, this is because I helped um, them in Mass Effect One, or it's you know um, um, generic, you know stuff. For example, the Turian um, counselor will, you know, tell this uh, anyway. I believe it's it's latter. Let me quickly save you, uh, save it here. Um, I'll speak with Udina, check his office if there is something else to, to be seen, and uh, then head to the Spectre office. Maybe we can, you know, acquire some stuff. The Count 
Axel to save their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? That is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. I should go. I'll be here. If there is anything special in his office apart from the beautiful sign, you know, down below on the citadel. here so uh, we're heading back to the Normandy where I'll proceed to you know explore talk so of course if you want to skip this and just go straight into the action uh, <laughs> you can probably um, skip this video and go to the next one Commander Shepard Commander the people of the Alliance have questions oh is this <laughs> shit reporter again Commander Shepard, Kalisa bent seen in Al Jelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Not this time, you military. Ugh. Yeah, suck this. <laughs> You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. Stay down or I'll put you down. According to the Council, these galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive and organ. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. 
but they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here, with the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful, but it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud, you were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. And maybe I'll not. But most probably I'll try to speak with um, every character, with every, you know, um, crew member so you can, you know, get some info from them. Overall, I'm, you know, not very fond of uh, James Vega and uh, many squad members in, in this game, but hey, I'll, you know, make sure that you know them. I'm not sure if there might be some update on the work memorial um, hospital. I'll, I'll go just in case, and then after that, Normandy. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. She's got this. Glow and the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in. I don't know. Glowing. She reaches out. Her eyes go black. And she touches one of the farmers and he just. dies. They panic. She rips them apart. Sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into. Liquid. And I'm there, in my towel with no gun. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. So I'll be just uh, moving to the Normandy Bay. Reapers, 
So you're just silent behind enemy lines until the war is over? No, they've got us on rotation. We're mostly in fortified holding zones until strike teams clear an area. Then we come in and set up medical bunkers and supply depots. And then the main fleet comes in to occupy. I'm not wearing commando leather, honey. What does that mean? We'll be perfectly safe. They don't put engineers on the front lines. But you won't be able to talk to us. Well, here's the thing. I prefer to, you know, try to hear all the conversations because they can give you some insight on um, side missions, which, of course, um, can give you more credits, points, um, you know, and also um, add to your fleet power so i'm trying to do so also so you can understand a little bit you know more of the of the situation of all the species throughout the galaxy it's very nice it's really um deep you know it's uh it's a content you know in in this perspective you know uh, feel a little bit the the situation Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? 
The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Um, yeah, there is a lot of stuff to to do uh, while in the Normandy, you know, check the, the, ro the war rooms, um, check uh, your equipment, um, you know, speak with everybody. So, yeah, we'll try to at least um, do this in this video, uh, you know, check the, the war room and what we have around. Well, yeah, more or less, it's, you know, it's playing to you um, what this is about. So we have the minimum uh, military strength. And we, here we have uh, everything, you know, the, the Alliance Engineer Corps, you know, and it's, it's, it's explaining everything. I'll check this by myself later. Um, so, yeah, and uh, in the warm-up. Well, in the warm-up, uh, this is, uh, you know, the, the multiplayer here, you see that everything by default is uh, set to 50%. I'll play, you know, some multiplayer games, um, you know, in, in the future. 
so I can get it uh, ready until uh, the 100%. It's very addictive multiplayer, I, I can promise you that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Let me go um, to the rest of the of the Normandy. You can see outside how we are flying. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. So yeah, here we have our private messages. Um, this is instead of uh, Kelly, I believe the, it was the, the girl in Mass Effect 2 that uh, was helping us here on the bridge. Now it's a specialist trainer. Um, here, well, here is nothing anymore. We have there the bridge where we can find uh, Joker. So let me go and see him. Hey Commander, you know I had my doubts about the Council, but after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. So that would be nice. Commander? Commander? Oh, like, really? Is this the only thing that uh, the TT will say to the Shepard? Well, okay. Well, more or less, I'll be leaving... Uh... Yeah, I got that. Yeah, let me check the message, okay. I have million of messages. Um, yeah, I'll be checking them in uh, my next video. I hope you enjoyed so far. It was a little bit, you know, like uh, the tour around the citadel. Um, then on my next one, most probably most of the time we'll be here in the Normandy because I had to check the messages, speak with uh, specialist trainer, with the crew, um, and then after that uh, head to Menai, the moon of um, Palavan, the home world of the Turians which will be an exciting mission and um, yeah, it will be very interesting. Thank you for watching, Narkivna out.